Hey third graders, this is Mr. Fries, and today we're going to do a math problem with my dog Scoop and one of her stuffed animal friends. Her, her friend today is her stuffed animal Panda. Panda eats seven rows of bamboo shoots. In each row, he ate four shoots. How many bamboo shoots did Panda eat? Use a letter to represent the unknown and solve. So let's see what Panda thinks. So bamboo stalks are those tall trees in the picture, and Panda thinks whenever he hears the word rose, he likes to draw an array to try and solve the problem. So it sounds like I could draw an array. I could skip count. Your job, um, find how many bamboo stalks Panda ate. Uh, ask your teacher to press pause right now, and please try this problem. Okay, so Panda told me to draw an array. So I've, I'm going to follow my RDW problem-solving process where I've read the problem. I'm going to draw a picture. And I need seven rows. And four shoots are in each row. So my first row has four in it. My next row has four in it. That's row three. Row four. And really, you just need to be organized and keep track. Row 5, row 6, and row 7. I could also draw a tape diagram for this picture. I would need 7 spots with 4 in each of them. So I'm going to show you what that would look like, too. Now, whenever I draw a tape diagram, I always make one fewer lines than the number of spaces I need because there's always an extra space after that line. So I've got four, four, and four. That's only three rows. Fourth row, fifth row, sixth row, and seventh row. And notice my rows are all basically the same size. Now, this can really help me solve this problem in a bunch of different ways. Well, one thing I think I need to do is I still really haven't written a math equation or used a letter to represent the problem. So the problem I think I'm looking at is I have seven rows. I'm sorry, I have seven rows of four. So, and I have seven spots of four. So to me, that's a multiplication sentence. Seven times four. And the variable I'm going to use is I'm going to use the letter S for bamboo shoots. You could use B, you could use P for panda. It's just a letter representing what's going on in the problem. Now, I could count all. I could count all my X's. That's not really the fastest way I want to do it. So I'm actually going to skip count. Okay? I'm going to do 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. 16. 20. 24. 28. And if I want to double check, I can look at my array, and I can see that when I have 4, 8, and actually I'm going to skip count the other way. I'm going to skip count with 7s. 7, 14, 21, 28. If you like football, that's the score of football games oftentimes, because touchdowns are worth 7 points. So I believe my answer would be that S equals 28, and in the end I really want to know how many shoots he ate. He ate, so I'm going to write my answer statement as 28 shoots. So I think we've done everything we need. We read the problem, we drew a picture, we wrote a number sentence, and an answer statement. Let's see what Panda has to say. So did you know that pandas eat bamboo shoots? That's their really only source of food. But an average panda, one panda, eats 20 to 30 pounds of bamboo every day. You almost weigh 30 pounds. And panda says, be glad you're not made of bamboo. Have a good day, third graders.